Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Wiki Lucas OO. Uh, I'm an administrator and bureaucrat on Lingua Libre. Um, I'm uh, also a Wikimedian in residence on this project, and I'm happy to be talking and presenting Lingua Libre at uh, this online Wikimania. It's my first uh, Wikimania event, and I'm really glad to be here. Uh, I'll start sharing my screen. So uh, we will just ask ourselves what is uh, Lingua Libre and how to take part in it. First of all, I will just uh, talk about the project and explain it uh, in a nutshell. Then I will demonstrate how it works. We will look at its impact and then it will be your turn if you like to. So um, the goals of Lingua Libre is to document oral linguistic diversity. And in order to feed the Wikimedia projects with uh, audio content and to bring new linguistic communities to Wikimedia project. It originates from um, the French chapter, Wikimedia France, uh, and was made with the help of contributors from the Wiktionnaire, some linguists and uh, speakers of French regional language, languages. Uh, and Nicolas Vion, the creator of Stuka, which was a PC software made for recording pronunciations. And uh, Lingua Libre was founded thanks to a project grant from the foundation provided to Odyssey and uh, some funds from uh, the French Ministry of Culture. It works like a, it's a wiki like other wikis. So it runs on MediaWiki and it has its uh, own custom skin, which is uh, quite fancy, blue LL. Uh, Wikibase is, is installed on uh, Lingua Libre, which means we have one element for each speaker, one element for each language, one for each uh, recording, and it allows us to make uh, Sparkle quer queries on Lingua Libre. Uh, the, main, uh, the main object of Lingua Libre is a MediaWiki extension, which is based on uh, voice activity detection. It's called the record wizard. We'll talk about it later. And uh, after that, all the files are sent automatically, automatically to commons via OHOTH authentication on behalf of the user. And uh, the data sets can be downloaded in zip files, but it's a work in progress. They are not quite up to date. The advantages is to reduce the steps in the classic uh, workflow for recording audio. So as you can see, uh, usually you have to record words in a dedicated software, then to clean them uh, in another software. Then you have to upload them, upload them one by one uh, to commons, and then you will have to edit each wiki you want to put them to. Uh, and on Lingua Libre, you just have to start the recording uh, pronounce the words one after the other, and the software based on the voice activity detection will just cut between your, your words, and then it will trim them and clean them and upload them automatically to commons. And uh, then there's a bot, I'll talk about it later, uh, that will uh, edit local wikis to add your pronunciations to it, to them. So this bot is called, sorry, it's called Lingua Libre Bot. Um, it's coded in Python, and you can see the code on GitHub. Um, if you want it to work on your wiki, you just have to fill in a request on this page, uh, on Lingua Libre. And uh, of course, you, it will need the bot status, so you will first have to start a discussion on your local wiki and vote for its status. I will now do a little demonstration of Lingua Libre. So uh, you need a Wikimedia account for this. So if you're not logged in, it will just redirect you to commons and via the OAuth uh, token, you will just allow Lingua Libre to interact with the commons on your behalf. So you authorize your microphone. You can check if, it, if it's working, test. 
I don't think you heard it, but uh, I got a feedback telling me it's okay. Then you can just um, fill in a, sp a speaker profile. So as you can see, I, I have uh, several speakers. That's very useful when you want to record several persons without uh, having them to create a Wikimedia account. So I will just use my main speaker. So that's the default from my account. Uh, here you can just enter the languages you speak. So now I'll be using English and for each language, you can uh, select a level of proficiency. So English is not my uh, native language. I just said I was, I don't know, average or good speaker. Uh, then you can select your place of residence and the license that we'll be using for uh, on commons for your files. Mm, the next step is uh, the is choosing the words you want to record. So there are several ways. You can just enter them like this. So let's say dog, cat. And uh, so if you just want to record a few words, it's okay to do like this. Um, but we also recommend to to use the, the other options here. So you can use a local list. Um, I don't know, there's no list of name fruit. For example, there's a list made by Olaf, uh, a Polish uh, Wiktionary contributor, uh, which is edited by a bot. And uh, for more than 70 languages, it just um, ranks the words that are described in in the more the biggest number of dictionaries and that don't have audio pronunciations on common. So here you just see all the words. Uh, it's more than 300 words. And once, for example, I will, uh, once I record all of these words, uh, like four or five hours later, the bot will just set the list with the other, uh, other words that are not, um, uh, that don't have audios. So that's just too much words for now. You could also uh, use the nearby option. You can uh, just enter your coordinates and it will just, uh, from Wikidata, uh, it will just fetch the, in, the items around you. For example, a church or a, a hospital or a park uh, and you, you can just pronounce them and it will go onto the item on Wikidata thanks to Lingua Libre Bot. You can uh, also uh, use a Wikimedia category, for example, uh, linguistics from, um, from Wikipedia. You can also change the source. I'll just take 20 words. And then you can just record them. You can also choose a dictionary. But for now, I'll just enter some words manually. So for example, let's say fruits, apple, cherry, orange, lemon, I don't know, uh, lime, pineapple. Uh, there's the possibility to shuffle the list. For example, if the list is in uh, alphabetical order, uh, you will try to, you will have um, risks to, to have a list intonation, which is not, was, uh, wishable so shuffling the list may help to to have better audio in the end and make sure you're recording in the correct language when you did recordings with several languages it's quite easy to make this mistake and let's say uh, record words that are actually in english and pronounce them in english but with the wrong language set and uh, that could be a, a pity uh, sorry i just by doing this, I just uh, erased the, the words. Okay. Let's go to the next step, the studio, the recording studio. So you just have to press once the start the recording and then you will see it will just um, trim between the words and it's really easy to, to understand. So I'll start once and I will just stop when it's over, when I'm the end of the list. Orange. Cherry, grape, apple. So I did nothing with my hands. It's just went through the, the items of the list. I'll go to the next step. So I have the, the feedback in my headset. 
and I can just uh, decide to to untip untick a, a recording if I don't like it before uh, sending them to comments. I could also uh, go to the previous step if I want to re-record uh, one recording. If uh, the recording failed, one of the recordings, it's you just have to retry, and usually it's 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 enough to to pass through. Okay, so let's check the recordings and comments. So as you can see, they're here. And they have uh, all the information about the language that it comes from Ingo Libre. And there's a link to my uh, QID item on Lingua Libre. Uh, also, they're uh, put in categories and comments. So you have here all the all the recordings from Lingua Libre in English, and you also have them uh, by speaker. So for example, you have all my recordings here. Okay, I think um, it's okay for the demonstration. Let's go back to to the sorry to the to the main presentation. We look at the impact of Lingua Libre. So we'll talk first of, uh, about uh, Lingua Libre community. It's a worldwide community. As you can see, we have speakers on uh, every continent, mainly in Europe. It's because uh, it started in France. Um, we have uh, we had many workshops that um, took place, uh, unfortunately, be before the, the COVID crisis. Uh, so all around the, the world, like in Canada, with uh, Attica Mech at uh, 2017 uh, uh, Wikimania. Uh, some recordings in Cameroon for Wiki in Daba. And uh, on the right, you can see uh, the team of uh, Wikimedia France and some contributors of Lingua Libre. Excuse me. Um, looking at the statistics of Lingua Libre, uh, out of more than uh, 500 recordings, uh, and more than uh, 120 languages. Uh, we can see that uh, French, French language is uh, still more than a third of uh, all the languages, of all the recordings, and uh, that uh, more than two thirds of uh, our speakers are male. So the road to uh, more, uh, uh, to, to diversity is uh, still long, but uh, we, are, we have hope and we want uh, everyone to, everyone's voice to to be heard. Uh, looking at looking at the statistics uh, of the total amount of recordings, we passed the five hundred thousand recordings uh, last month, and uh, as you can see, there's almost a, a one hundred percent growth rate each year. So the total amount is uh, almost doubling uh, every year. Um, then we will look at the use, how the recordings are used in and out of Wikimedia projects. So on uh, Wikimedia projects, uh, they can be used to illustrate uh, words or uh, names on uh, any project. So for example, names on Wikipedia, but words also on dictionaries. They're used on Leaksims, on Wikidata, um, anything you could think of, for example, on the left, um, on this, uh, it's a dictionary, it's a dictionary uh, from the Summer Institute of Linguistics of uh, Kakchikel, and uh, some contributor just added the uh, recordings made with Lingua Libre. They added it to to this uh, page of the dictionary. On the middle, you have uh, the French dictionary entry for the word forêt. Um, so there's plenty of pronunciation there. And on the right, you have an example of a Lixim with uh, the pronunciation by uh, one of our uh, most prolific contributors, Tito Duta. Um, outside of Wikimedia projects, um, the recordings are used, for example, on uh, uh, Mozilla's uh, speech-to-text engine, which is called DeepSpeech. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it, they, 
they are used um, as part of the French uh, version of deep speech, uh, among other data sets like Common Voice. They are also used on uh, some uh, dictionaries like uh, Le Dico des Ados, which is a Libre dictionary for young people. So uh, some contributors are, are recording words on Lingua Libre, and then they are using it on, uh, on this uh, dictionary. Um, also the Diction Dictionnaire des Francophones, uh, which I'm working on as part of my residence, is uh, we'll also soon be including uh, some um, recordings from Lingua Libre to highlight the accents of the French speaking world. On the right, you have uh, uh, what it should look like. And uh, there's also plenty of perspective like language learning, learning apps, flashcards, for example, uh, anything you could think of with uh, our recordings. Do you have questions about uh, this presentation before we, we go uh, to an interactive session? I'll just go back to the StreamYard. So how does the application handle regional dialects in a different languages? Um, actually, there's a possibility to, to add any new language as long as it has a Wikidata, Wikidata QID. Uh, and for example, uh, let's take the example of Occitan, which is a, um, a language spoken uh, in some parts of France, uh, mainly. Um, there are there are several dialects uh, of Occitan. For example, the Languedocian. Sorry, just click on the wrong. So here's the wiki base of Lingua Libre. If we look at uh, Languedocian dialect, there's uh, a QID like other languages. So instance of it's just a language slash dialect. So anything can work, uh, and it has its own. Uh, ISO uh, uh, 6393 code and the 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 sorry the recordings are uh, categorized in this uh, category which is also part of the occitan category so uh, indeed there's the possibility to to have uh, information about dialects Um, does the bot make any kind of pre-processing? Uh, I'm not sure I, I understand exactly the question. I'm sorry. The bot is working uh, from the Wikibase. So it's just fetching the latest recordings, checking if uh, they are already on, uh, for example, the Wiktionary page. And if not, it will just add it. Uh, it works twice a day. And its maintainer is Poslovich who uh, presented Lingua Libre yesterday during the, the Agathon. Uh, how accessible is the project for someone without a high quality mic? Um, we, we noticed that uh, even some using some uh, recent phones, like smartphones, uh, can be really uh, end up with a good quality. So as Lingua Libre is, is uh, accessible on mobile version, you can also, uh, you could Record it from your um, from your cell phone if you if you don't have a high quality mic. The most important is to have a quiet room, uh, like no no noise from the street and from around, no television uh, turned up turned on uh, in the background. But uh, then there's no problem from with uh, using it um, using a cell phone or just your default uh, built-in laptop microphone. Uh, so I think that answered uh, how to record from mobile phone. You just have to go to lingualibre.org on your uh, on your smartphone. There's no uh, mobile app, but it's a mobile version of the website, which is quite accessible. 
Uh, there's a question in France, in French, sorry. So I will just take the time to read it in French and translate it. So what's our experience with um, uh, other linguistics communities uh, from minority languages? Um, there are recordings um, that are made from uh, from linguists, I think, and uh, we we talked about the projects to some linguists, some fieldwork linguists, but uh, I'm not sure they they did their fieldwork uh, linguistics uh, with really uh, minority languages, but um, but. Uh, when uh, when we work with these communities indeed we we mainly use uh, for, for the moment like short list like swadesh list um, and not uh, full uh, full stories as you you mentioned um, even though lingua libre can uh, record texts uh, it's mainly used uh, for uh, short words phrases and maybe sentences but uh, but for the moment it's more like list of words and it's really efficient for uh, reading lists of words. So the Swedish list, or I don't know if you have a, a lexicon of um, fishing uh, in, in, a part, in a specific language, you can just uh, help the community reading it. But uh, of course, you need someone to rely to rely on to, um, to, to make this list first, because, um, because yeah, it, sometimes uh, speakers don't know how to write uh to write uh in in this language so that's kind of a problem a problem with uh, we're facing uh with lingua libre so that answered another question uh it uh, you you can uh record uh, wiki articles from lingua libre you just have you just have to set the threshold of silence that triggers the voice activity detection uh, it's uh, set on, uh, it's really short uh, as you, we're recording a list of words. So you can just uh, put it to five seconds or 10 seconds um, when you're reading a full text. So it will not cut uh, in the middle of your text. Um, are there checks for trolling? Uh, what if a malicious agent records a non-existent word? Actually, uh, that's also a problematic uh, question, and we are just beginning of uh, treating this, like treating all the types of issues, in fact, uh, that we can uh, uh, encounter with Lingua Libre. So we're kind of uh, trying to make a patrol on Lingua Libre. Sometimes it's just we don't have uh, much vandalism on Lingua Libre for, for the moment, luckily, but um, we have people that uh, misuse uh, the, the, the software. For example, they, as I mentioned, they, they record words in the wrong language. It's quite easy to, to make the mistake. Uh, I did uh, actually one, one time, I recorded 100 words or 1000 um, with the language set on Finnish instead of French. And that causes some problems like uh, for, you have to rename all the files on comments and uh, we're figuring out uh, how to how to uh, handle that. Uh, actually, yes, it also deals with a uh, sign language, uh, sign languages, uh, so French sign language, any any sign language you can uh, think of. Uh, there's a, if you just select sign language, uh, the record wizard changes and uh, it will ask the permission for your camera and uh, you will just, you you'll, you'll, will just be able to record words in, um, in sign language and uh, I think it works. You have to, there's no detection, so you have to cut between all, uh, between each uh, sign you're making, but then the videos are uploaded to comments just uh, as audio. What if a word is already recorded? Uh, you mean by a speaker or uh, like by the same speaker or by another. If it's uh, it has already been recorded by um, a speaker uh, and you still uh, uh, 
enter it to Lingua Libre. If you the if you already recorded, it, um, it, it will just reset the file on commands with a new version. So that can be useful if you mispronounced. You just have to put it back to Lingua Libre and uh, type it again, record it again, and it would just update on comments. And uh, if it's it has been learned, if, if it has been recorded by another speaker, that's the main goal of Lingua Libre is to show the diversity. So um, you it will add it to, to the dictionary or any, any project, uh, at least on comments, and uh, you will have a diversity of pronunciation for the same word. Uh, there is an interest in uh, atypical recordings, uh, indeed. Uh, for example, you say you're French, but you live in a, in a German-speaking part of Switzerland. So you probably have an accent like anyone, uh, like everyone, and uh, it, it's, it's interesting. So you just have to type the place where you learned your, your, your language, your, your languages, and uh, it will be interesting to, to hear how you pronounce words. Uh, yes, there's an inc interesting question about words that are written the same but uh, pronounced differently with different meanings. Uh, we handle that with a um, parenthesis. Uh, so you type your word, like for example, uh, the letters L I V E, so it can be pronounced live or live, um, depending on the, the word. Uh, you just have to type uh, li uh, live. Uh, and pre you, you have to precise the meaning um, uh, between the parentheses and the bot, Lingua Libre bot, will still be able to, to manage and to, to put the, the file on the wiki. Um, the bot that added pronunciation, I don't think it's broken. Um, but if you have questions, uh, precise questions about the bot, I invite you to, to ask them on uh, Lingua Libre. Uh, column bot uh, on our website, uh, or to ask them to Poslovich, which is uh, the bot master of Lingua Libre bot. And I think it's working, uh, but it's uh, only adding recordings on Wikidata if you used um, a Wikidata query. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, during the demonstration, but you can use uh, Wikidata queries uh, uh, and uh, pet scan queries also. To, to generate lists of words to, to record. And uh, if you used a uh, Wikidata query, uh, it will just, um, it will just uh, automatically, automatically uh, add, it, uh, add the recordings to the, the corresponding Lexim. I don't know if there are uh, new questions. So pre-processing follow-up, there's several easy, Ways to improve audio, denoising, deasing. Does the bot perform any of those? Actually, is the um, it's the software that uh, that uh, process processes the audio. Sorry, I I misunderstood your question uh, before. Uh, it's the the software that that does that. The bot is only adding is is only modifying uh, wiki pages uh, to just uh, take the recordings from comments and adding links on uh, any wiki you want. How can we reach Lingua Libre? Um, so you can. Uh, so the address is lingualibre.org, um, and uh, it works like any um, any wiki. Um, and if you want to contact us, uh, there's uh, the chat room. Uh, but I'll just go back to the presentation soon um, to to talk about this, to how you can be involved. Um, some last questions. So any pre-work needed to add pronunciation file to Wiktionary? Uh, if you want to manually add it, uh, you just have to make sure your uh, local Wiktionary uh, uses a, a complete uh, template uh, for audio recordings. Uh, so a template that indicates at least uh, the country and the place where the speaker is from. and um, and maybe the, the phonetic transcript, transcription. Uh, but uh, if you want the bot to edit, you indeed you will have to describe us how it is supposed to, to edit because it, it works differently on every wiki. 
and uh, and then we'll try our best to 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 make it work on your wiki. You can also uh, submit a, a commit uh, on GitHub if you know how to code in Python and you want to to do it by yourself. And uh, we'll just review the code and uh, put it uh, on the on the Toolforge where the the bot runs. Um, it could work in uh, in uh, incubator wikis, but for the moment, uh, it only works on uh, on a few wikis like French Wiktionary, Occitan Wiktionary, uh, and uh, soon some new like uh, it works on Wikidata. But so we will be adding uh, during the summer new wikis. Uh, we can use uh, yes uh, non Wikimedia sources for words. Uh, I don't think there are uh, special uh, uh, author rights uh, on uh, just a short list of words. Uh, so you can use if there's a list like you mentioned on Twitter. On Twitter, you could use it to 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 as a source, uh, but you will have to to prepare it for the the record wizard. So I'll go back to the presentation to, to talk about how you could uh, help us uh, participating in uh, Lingua Libre. I'll share my screen again. Um, oh, share screen. So um, you, the, the whole content of Lingua Libre is, uh, can be translated. You can learn more at, uh, on Lingua Libre at help uh, translate. Uh, so there's a part that, is, uh, that can be translated on um, translate wiki uh, for the interface of the record wizard, et cetera. Uh, there are also media wiki uh, messages that can be translated, uh, but though you have to pass by uh, the administrators. So you can just submit us uh, the, the text that we have to, to put on Lingua Libre. Um, you can also translate, uh, for example, welcome messages, uh, et cetera, that we use for newcomers. Uh, you, can, you can help by creating uh, lists in your own language. Uh, there's a page that uh, explains, a uh, help page that uh, explains how to create lists. Uh, so, for example, if you want to create a list of fruits in uh, in English, uh, it can be useful because, uh, for example, if you uh, ask for the category fruits in uh, in English from the dictionary, it will fetch uh, the whole category with uh, fruits that you don't even know. So it can be a problem when you want to record a list. And uh, when it's done by humans, it uh, it just uh, it's just the the fruits that everybody will think of. But if you want to be exhaustive, you you just have to you 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 have to like using uh, the dictionary uh, category will be better. So if you want to make suggestions, the chat room is yours. Uh, and if you want to start technical discussions or just read about technical discussions, uh, there's a tech board, Lingua Libre. Uh, you can click on all the links uh, in the PDF version of uh, this presentation that's already on Commons. There's a link in the Etherpad. Uh, as I said, uh, you can help us improving the code of uh, not only the Lingua Libre bot, but all, uh, all uh, our code on, uh, are, on, uh, com are on GitHub, sorry. And uh, you can uh, submit bug, uh, bug reports and um, feature requests on Fabricator. Uh, it's uh, quite a full fabricator, as uh, many people are submitting uh, the request and the and the bug reports. So we we try to keep it tidy. Um, uh, there's the link to the form you have to fill in uh, to request uh, the bot on your wiki. And uh, yes, if you want to get involved, the best way is to spread the word around you. Spread the word uh, about Lingua Libre uh, on your local wikis. And to record uh, your voice or other other people's voice, so that's the the next step. Some advice about recording words, um, voices. 
Um, so Lingua Libre works best for the moment on Firefox. We're having issues on uh, Chrome. It's not impossible to use it, but you might encounter some uh, slight clicks, uh, audio clicks uh, on your uh, file. So we're, we try to figure it out. So please use Firefox for the moment uh, to have uh, full uh, chances of uh, good quality audios. So as I said, uh, mind the noises around you. Turn off, uh, for example, the, the sound of this session if you want to record in parallel. And uh, you just have to follow the steps of the record wizard or uh, just read the demonstration slides from this uh, PDF version. So it will just explain step by step what I just uh, uh, did in the demonstration. And uh, please uh, check listen your, um, your audios before uploading them. So as uh, we, to, to be sure to, to have a nice quality audios. And uh, so there, if there's a problem, you, you just untick it and, uh, and it prevents uh, sending a bad quality audio or a mispronounced word on, onto commands. And once you, you send them, you, you can just uh, listen to them on commands and uh, you will appear on the main page of Lingua Libre. You should. Are there any new questions? I'll just stop sharing my screen. Don't think there are new questions. So would you like to to contribute uh, to record a few words on Lingua Libre uh, for the last minutes of this session? If you have any question you, while you, you're uh, recording, you can ask them uh, on the Etherpad. And uh, I'll try to give you advice. Would it be possible to have a Wikidata Lexeme generator just adding the language? So um, I don't really see what you you mean when you ask this question, like a generator that fetches uh, exims from Wikidata and to, to create lists of words to record. So uh, yes, that's a good question I see there. Uh, if your uh, language is not currently on Lingua Libre, uh, you can just ask uh, the administrators, uh, um, either on the chat room or on the administrator's uh, notice board uh, to add it. And uh, it will just uh, take a few minutes for us to, to add the, your language to Lingua Libre, as long as there's a Wikidata uh, element for it. And you can also add it by yourself, but it, it's just that uh, it will take, take a few steps um, to add it to, to edit it manually. Basically, just like your, when you create an element on, um, on uh, Wikidata. And uh, there's a gadget for administrators to, to just add uh, quickly languages just using the Wikidata QID of the language. So if you have the the name of languages you, you want to add to Lingua Libre, you're welcome to put them uh, in the Etherpad and uh, we'll try to, to add them uh, as quickly as possible. It can be right now, actually.
for example, Hebrew, I think Hebrew is available on uh, on Wikidata. On, uh, sorry, on Lingua Libre. Yes, it is. The local QID for Hebrew on, uh, on Lingua Libre is Q397. I'll just send it in there as a pair. Um, are there plans to have lingua libre pronunciations auto added to the English dictionary, like uh, on the French speaking one? Uh, we actually, I think, uh, we tried by a few years ago, but um, some uh, English uh, dictionary contributors weren't happy uh, about um, the possibility of uh, people to record words in a language, even if they're not uh, native speakers, but uh, that's ex actually something we can uh, work with uh, because as long as uh, the speaker mentioned his uh, or their, their level of um, proficiency in a language, uh, if uh, the community of, of a wiki only wants native speakers, for example, uh, we can just uh, change the code for this specific, this specific wiki to only uh, upload, um, integrate uh, native speakers' uh, pronunciations uh, on their wiki. Or we could also change the local template for uh, audio records uh, to display. That's actually what we did on the French dictionary uh, like a few months ago. Uh, we added a parameter to specify the level of proficiency. For example, if it's uh, just a beginner in this language, uh, it can still be better than nothing to have uh, to have uh, their recording if uh, if the the word uh, what hadn't had didn't have uh, any recording before, or if you have uh, plenty of recordings for uh, a word uh, once you you saw, you heard all the the different accents or many different accents, it can be interesting to see how uh, learners uh, accents uh, are. Uh, from different parts of the world. So uh, the answer to uh, the question about words spelt the same way but pronounced differently uh, is a parenthesis. Um, for example, uh, you can, uh, for example, in French, we have uh, the, the letters F, I, L, S, it can be pronounced uh, fees, for example, so it's just translate by son. Uh, so let's say child. Um, so you you just precise the meaning uh, in, in parentheses, and uh, when you record another one, it can be feel. So the plural of the word feel, which is a thread, you can just uh, do it like this in the same language, of course. That's just for the, the example. So I think we're getting at the end of the presentation. I'll take uh, last questions. But I think there are no questions left. So I'll just say thank you very much for, uh, for having uh, attended uh, this this talk and uh, i hope to to see you soon uh, on lingua libre goodbye